Greetings fellow gamers, Small Archangel here. Welcome back to TUG or Terrifying Ungulates Gyrating. Um, whatever you want to call it. This is my my little my little world so far, which uh, doesn't look any more impressive than the last time you saw it, really. Um, I'm just about to repair my axe here because uh, it's pretty cracked up, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my pebbles back in the chest. Pebbles are pretty useful for repairing stuff. I've just had to repair my hoe and my axe with these. I've been doing a lot of work on my farm over here. As you can see, I've extended the size of the place and I've planted some more stuff. I've got a couple of good um, vines here. The last two kind of disappeared. Oh, my cherry tree is dropping cherries. Um, the last two, uh, when I planted gourds before, they, yeah, they vanished. And I'm suspicious because I did see goats in the area. Um, so I'm a little bit suspicious that the goats actually ate them um, when I wasn't looking. Uh, that being the case, one of the first things I probably want to do today is uh, get a fence around my farm. And then after that, I'm going to get on and uh, make a house because at the moment I've just got so much stuff. You can see there's all these dots where I've been totally unable to, to, to till the land properly. So I don't know whether it's kind of bugging out or what, or whether it needs to be absolutely flat. But I wouldn't have thought so because uh, the ground being absolutely level just really isn't uh, particularly feasible it's not ever going to happen so i don't know about that anyway so we're going to chop down some trees now i've got my um my axe repaired up uh but before we do this uh, let me just see how many vines i have in here not many right we need lots of vines because to make oh lots of vines and lots of, lots of bamboo shafts actually um because to make fences that's what we're going to need vines and bamboo shafts i've got a little bit of a junkyard going on here I'm not quite sure if these things despawn eventually, um, but if they don't, then uh, that's going to be a little bit difficult to deal with. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going to place my house either. I'll probably need to clear an area of some trees. Mm, that table's kind of in the middle of my farm at the moment. don't know if I can not with this. Maybe I can get rid of it with my crew pick. Nah, that's not going to happen. Okay, fine. Whatever, we'll just have to go around that. But I think my farm's going to have to expand a bit further in this direction. If not, I would put my house there. Uh, when it comes to house... Oh, I need to pick these up, I think. You see, I don't think stuff despawns, so I really am going to have to have a... See how fast these gourds grow. It's cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to have somewhere where I can put stuff I don't need because I'm inevitably going get, to gonna end up with stuff that I don't require. Anyway, so, um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll put my house kind of here where this is. I can make, make a shovel and I can level the ground off a bit if I need to, but I could put my house here. Um, what I'm thinking is I might put uh, my house sort of on stilts, um, though at the moment there's not too much in the way of hostiles in the game. I have seen some, of course, when I first spawned in I saw lots, but I haven't honestly seen any since then, so I don't know what's going on there. Not that I'm complaining too much since I don't have a roof over my head at the moment, uh, unless you count that little cave and I don't really. So, uh, what's that? Some red glowing thing. All right, so uh, there's loads of these stone tables around, so it's kind of a pity I can't shift them when I think they're in my way. Um, I might just level the ground here and put my house here, um, but I'm going to put it somewhere in the vicinity anyway, but I quite like the idea of putting... I don't know. I might build it here, actually. That would be quite cool, I think. Um, pretty sure by now that the trees grow because there's millions of the things and every time I look they're kind of bigger I don't think you can actually physically see them grow but they do so I don't think I'm going to run out of them so we're going to take out some bamboo 
because we need bamboo for fencing, so this is good. What I get? Three bamboo shafts from that. I'm going to take out the ones next to my farm because they're just in the way of my little farm, really. See, I think they, they start out young and then they turn into aged ones and they get bigger and so they grow kind of realistically, really. Should be worth a few. There we go. Some furniture I can make for my house as well, which will actually require uh, bamboo logs. Oops, digging holes in the ground again. Ah! Oh! Stop doing that. Really not what I mean to do at all. Okay. Ah! It's on my head. And the physics is a little bit interesting sometimes. Oh, did that not drop anything? Yeah, it did. It's there. Okay, and this one as well. And then we should have all the bamboo we require. It's on my head again. Okay. What the heck? Stupid thing. Okay. Where, where did you come from? I thought I'd got all these. Alright, we should have... Oh, come on, pick it up. We should have loads now. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of full stacks of the stuff. Um... So there we are. So I could probably uh, expand my farm out to the left a little bit. So the oh goodness knows I'll... Uh, yeah, I'd like to expand it out to the right a bit as well. So I might just have to ignore the stone table. Just leave it kind of in the middle. But I have other things to plant. I keep finding new plants, which is kind of intriguing. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, I think we'll think about putting my house sort of here. It's relatively level here. and It's near to my crafting area, so it's going to be efficient. But right now, I do need to go get some actual wood. Um, and I can't remember if I went over this way last time. I chopped out a cypress tree and then apple cores. Guess I've been here already. Um, yeah, they definitely don't despawn, do they? Um, I, yeah, I chopped out a cypress tree and then found that I didn't have the capacity to pick up the wood, which was quite annoying. Ah, there's some. Yeah, I knew it was near one of these mushrooms. So I've got quite a lot of... What? I'm full again. Oh, okay. That's because I don't need the turf. Um, no, I don't need the turf. Put it away. I require the chopped wood. Thank you. Um, yeah. So where was I? Uh, yeah. Wood. So I've got quite a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of, um, cobblestone, so I might start off building my, my house with cobblestone. I don't know if I've got the capacity to pick these up. I haven't. I'm, yeah, I can't. Okay, well they are going to be useful, so I probably will come back here for them, uh, at some point, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just get another couple of trees while I'm here. These trees look kind of dead, so I'm not sure if they're um, going to grow back because they're, well, dead. Okay, now I can... Whoa, what just happened? Some more dubious physics flung me across the world. What is this? Thornwood. Hmm, looks a bit spiky. Not sure I really want to touch that. Uh, we're going to need some vines for our fencing as well, but I really don't have space for those at the moment. So we're going to have to go back to camp and then... Uh, so yeah, I hope the um, other thing, I hope the, the plants... That Hello, goat. Are you eating stuff? Probably. Yeah, that's why we need fences. Um, yeah, <clears throat> hoping that the, the plants that provide me with vines also grow back because that would be very useful. Going to need rather more storage as well. Starting to get quite a lot of stuff. Um, but 
As I say, I'm not absolutely sure I can empty this. If I empty the chest, I think I can move the chest, but emptying is going to be a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to stuff everything on the floor, just drop it. Um, so I don't really want to have to do that at the moment. Uh, no, let me see if I can put anything else in here. I don't know what this, these stack we've got. 180 of those now uh, and 182 of those. So that's quite a few blocks. Uh, I'm not sure. How many I'm going to need? I've got my chop wood in there as well. I don't know what that's probably stacks just in tens. Yeah, it does by the look of it. I've got six vines. I need some more vines. It's getting dark again. The day night cycle is really quite short. Um, if I'm not sure if there's an option to lengthen it, um, I haven't looked. If there is, I might have to avail myself of that. These look like suitable little plants. I'm fairly sure I... Fairly sure I actually uh, cut some down just here, so you never know. Maybe they do grow back. What's this tree here? Bonsai tree, as opposed to bonsai. Okay, so we've emptied that out, but unfortunately I think I will probably have a load of seeds in its place. Right, a load of... what's this? Banana tree. Wow. I want a banana tree to grow bananas. Now what have I just thrown a banana on the floor for? Okay, if I chop down a banana tree, what do I get? Well, a leaf, funnily enough. Oh, I do get some vines, that's good. And a banana. Well, I don't need the leaf, actually. I have so many leaves, I don't require any more leaves. I do need vines. Quite a lot of vines. Okay, so I'll ignore the leaf and get the vines. Kind of do hope that there is a way of sort of decluttering the world, because if it gets absolutely filled with my rejects that would be a little bit unfortunate did i pick up that vine i've no idea if i didn't i don't know where it went there's a coconut there as well i'm not sure i really want to grow a coconut palm they're absolutely enormous so i think i'll just leave that one vines vines no no pick up the plumbing vines Yeah, I don't think uh, it's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot more plants around here than there perhaps used to be, so perhaps I shouldn't kind of worry about that at all. Look at this baby palm tree, tree sapling. Yeah, I think that tells us what we need to know. Vines. Okay, how many have I got? Have I got? Have I got I've got six. Let's get a full stack. Let's get a full stack. It's a little bit difficult to see now. I'll have one of these. I'm pretty sure they give me vines too. Yeah, they do. Oh, stop kicking the vines. So I reckon I've probably got... Whoa, more weird physics. Seven, eight, nine. We need one more. One more. That plant's huge. See, a plant that big shouldn't really drop one vine. It should drop about ten. Okay, so now I have to find my way back to my base. Oh, there's another banana. Lovely. And I think it's over here, but the further I stray, the more likely it is I'm going to lose track when I try and get back. Slightly nerve-wracking. Hello, goat. Oh, and a freaky kid. Did you have another one? Or are you a different goat entirely? Okay, so where's my house? I'm not sure. This is not welcome. I was getting a little bit complacent. What the heck was that? 
And what is this huge thing? Oh crap. That's... Ah! This is not good! That's very bad actually. I'm not quite sure what happens now. That's the first time I've been killed. I've dropped all my stuff and I'm going to have to come back and get it. Those are really cool looking cats though. I'm very happy about that. But where on earth... Okay, I'm back in my camp. This is good, but I have no idea, no way of knowing where all that lovely loot is that I just dropped on the ground because I was lost at the time. So I've lost everything I was carrying, which is very annoying. So I'm going to have to gather it all over again, uh, which, yeah probably better if I do that off camera and then we start building when I actually when I actually have some materials to build with oh nuts do you know what we have some materials in here look we have no 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 not in me we have lots of cobblestone so we're gonna get some cobblestone and we have wood planks and we have stacked wood I'm not sure if stacked wood is a block I think it's a block I mean that's building block two and I'm not sure if I need any tools, but obviously I don't have any. Given stuff doesn't seem to despawn, I won't worry about that too much. I shall go back at some point and try and find it. But yeah, I did have weapons. I just didn't have one to hand, which was a bad idea. Obviously, I should have had one actually in my hand so that I could have defended myself against that tiger. Um, okay, so... Here we have some cobblestone. Now that is kind of annoyingly in my way. I need to cut it down, but I don't have an axe. Do I have an axe stone? Yes, I have an axe rock. Oh, I'm going to need a vine. And I'm going to need a handle, I think. I hope. Okay, let's try and make myself a new axe. Crude axe. There we go. Yep, there's a goat. That goat is laughing at me. Uh, where did my vine... Surely I didn't need to use six vines to make that with. No, no, no. They're in my hand. There we go. Put those back there. The less you're carrying, the less it matters when you die. Okay, so where did I say I was going to put my house? Here-ish. But first, this. Damn, that was the wrong thing. Pick that up. Okay, so, cobblestone. So it's a little bit difficult to see what's going on here. Uh, but we're just, uh, this is slightly on a diagonal, so we have a wall here. Okay, so... Apologies if it's too dark to see. Just gonna... Oh, can't see what I'm doing. That's in the wrong place. Hmm. Sort of. Uh, that's not quite what I meant either. Never mind, okay. Yeah, we've got ground that we probably need to sort of dig out of the way there, perhaps, or I'll just build it along here. How big does it need to be anyway? Probably not massive, to be honest. That's a little bit zigzagged at the moment. I will make myself a shovel so I can dig that out, I think. At the moment, I just really want to mark out where it's going to go. Yeah, physics doesn't seem to play a very big part in the, the way that the game works. Uh, does that come out far enough there? It probably does. I'll do one more. Where's my field? It's there. That's cool. 
Oh, for pity's sake. Keep putting blocks in the wrong place. It's very easily done. Especially when you haven't done this before. This is my first attempt at building, just in case you couldn't tell. But I think you can. Okay, let's make these even. I think that's even. But no, actually I think it's probably not. I think that is where it's going to come out. Yeah, that's it there. Okay, so I'm going to need a pickaxe again. I'm going to need to make another pickaxe. because I'm not sure if I can find where that tiger killed me to get all my stuff back. Which is a shame because I wanted to grow a banana tree. But I'm sure I'll find another one at some point. But I think maybe I need, I don't know, some sort of way markers or something so I can find my way around my own little bit of the biome. Uh, I guess ultimately what I'd like to do is go off and sort of see the world a bit, you know. Um, but is there a hole there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'd like to go and see the world a little bit, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to up sticks and leave everything behind, which... Oh no, that's not what I meant. How to waste cobblestone. Wow, that was a flying leap. Okay. And uh, we'll have a window as well. That'd be good, wouldn't it, to have a window so we can actually see out. And uh, we'll have a window on the other side as well. Which should be the same height, really, but, um, yeah. Not so easy to do. And the doorway should be kind of central. And that is probably wide enough for that. probably put windows through when I know what the level of the floor is going to be because uh, it's not going to be where it is now. It's going to be a bit lower perhaps on one side, a bit higher on the other when I level it out. Okay, what just happened? Just about got over that whole kind of pressing the wrong button thing. Except that it, yeah, I think that's what happens when you accidentally try and place it somewhere where it shouldn't go. Okay, let's see. Where's that other window? About there? Kind of. One, two, three. Blocks. One, two, three, exactly. Okay, cool. That must be about level then. Oof. Do jump very high. Not high enough to get there though. Yeah. What the heck? If I can jump that high, I can reach the top of my wall. Huh? Now that should be high enough for the top of the door frame and I think ultimately I would like this to be oh you stop it I would like this to be a two-story high house as well but uh, okay I'm wrong that that is not high enough that is can I crouch to get through there yes I can okay I'm gonna have to make that higher because evidently I'm not Quite as short as I thought I was. Ah, oh, that's not where I meant to put it. I'm not sure if when I destroy this stone it's going to give me some cobblestone back or whether that's just it and I've lost out I'm not sure okay so we're probably going to need another lot on top of that uh, I might just see if I can 
get on top of the wall from the back. Yep, pretty much. And go around once more. Uh, oh, I keep doing that. And then once I've done this, I'm planning on the top any further building to be kind of wood after that. seems to be night for longer than it's day in game actually which is a bit annoying because um, it's nearly always seems to be dark and as such it's very difficult to see what's going on yeah quite difficult to judge from here I can't really see what's what's happening Yeah, I think I've probably placed something there that I shouldn't have done. Mm -hmm. Ugh, can't do it. Can't reach. Okay, yeah, I have done something I shouldn't have done. Oh no, I haven't taken that out yet. Right, fine, so what we're going to need now is a pickaxe to get rid of that. Dawn is breaking finally, so maybe I can see what I'm doing. There we go, see that bit I missed. Alright, so that's looking sort of vaguely house-shaped. Uh, we've got a grass floor and a bit of a pile of earth in the corner, and that window needs chipping out underneath a bit. Um, and I can't get through the door. Uh, but apart from that, it's looking pretty good. I think I need to make myself a pickaxe. Um, don't need the bamboo. Do need the vines. Do need a handle. Okay. Pick, rock, vine, handle, go. There we go. The pick. There we are. Right. Picking up grass for some reason. I'm not sure there's any real use for it. Still got 238 cobblestone actually, so I could make the rest with that, but I don't actually want to. Okay, that didn't leave me with anything, so. But it's quite easy to destroy blocks you don't want, which is good. Yeah, that's quite low down at the moment, but that's okay. Didn't need that one. We will level that so it makes more sense. That can go. And was there any other? I think there was one inside that I didn't get as well. At least one, yeah, there's one down there. And there's one here, I think. There. It's actually very difficult to judge might have to put the gamma up the brightness in game oh and there's one too because it's a little bit dark at the moment it'll probably help when i get some torches up in here but uh Okay, so where's my cobblestone gone? I'm going to need some more of it there. There we go. So it looks like I can use my pickaxe actually to take out some of this unwanted terrain. So I'm going to do that to get it all down. Who asked you, goat? to get it all down to the same kind of level. Again, kind of the first time I've deliberately done this. Oh, we need some more cobblestone there. You missed a bit. And I think that's the right level, I'm not sure. Difficult to tell. Is it even possible to get things level in here without deliberately putting a floor down. I'm not so sure. Well, I have got some wood 
here, so let's see. See if I can use this for a floor. Yes, I think so. And this should help me level stuff off. How level it goes, I couldn't say. Looks like it's going to be a bit higher than perhaps I want it to be. Yeah, I think maybe I want the ground to be a little bit lower than that, actually. So, oh, blast. That's not what I meant. Hole in the wall. So that was a slight waste of wood, but at least I know what I'm doing now. Uh, at least I think I do. <laughs> okay, so... Yes, it's going to be, again, a little bit difficult to judge whether this is the right level or I'm getting rid of the right blocks here. Let's just see. Where are we? We've got that wood. No. Three. Wood. Nope. Place the block. Thank you. Oh, what just happened? I'm probably going to have to chop down about 43 trees before I can actually... <laughs> before I can actually get my floor right because uh, it's really quite difficult to figure out what's going on with it. Especially the way the textures sort of merge. Oh, we got a hole there by the look of it. So it looks like you've got grass in your house no matter what you do. <laughs> Again, goatee. Get out of my house. That's not in my house yet, but there's ju it's just a matter of time. There's no door. You cannot make a door. Great, I have hovering grass. No wonder I can't hoe the grass out of my garden. It's because it's not possible. Ah, uh, now, is that too deep now? Probably, knowing my luck. This floor is going to be extremely wonky. No, that's not what I meant.
Okay, there we sort of go. Uh, I'm not sure if I've missed bits here or or if that's just showing grass textures for no good reason. Uh, might be possible to get rid of the grass textures if I sort of go around like this. Oops, it's not what I meant. Or, then again, it might not be possible to get rid of them, I don't know. Some parts of the floor are just wood, and some parts of the floor are, for some reason, grass. And I really don't know why. Uh, which is probably going to bug me, but I'm probably going to have to just learn to live with that. I think probably it would... Oh, that's not what I meant. would probably uh, work if I did more than one le uh, level of... Uh, one layer of, of wood like that for example but that just seems like quite a profligate use of wood to me it's gonna mean yeah chopping down more trees than I can really bother be bothered with at the moment I'd rather get my house sort of up and running really there that's kind of getting there now not sure what's going on there oh that's gone in the wrong place Okay, more or less there now, apart from that bit of hovering grass there, which I'm not sure there's anything I can do about that, because it uh, doesn't seem like I can get rid of it. And as I say, I do have a problem with some hovering grass back in my garden as well. It's just, there it is, all over my garden. <laughs> not bothering my plants, but uh, yeah, certainly, yeah, certainly bothering my eye. Okay, I've got some wood which I'm going to use for the, f the ceiling above as well and that hopefully should be rather more easy to place because, yeah, I'm just going to do this and I'm using wood because uh, eventually, as I say, I'm planning on having a, s a floor above as well and it would be better if that was wood than, um, yeah, than if it was sort of stone stone floors upstairs just being, you know, not a great idea. They just don't quite look right, as I say. I don't think there's the physics of this game is particularly anything to worry about. I'm hoping not, because uh, I'm not factoring that into this at all. Voila, fin finished. The floor is not exactly level. It's very, well, rustic. Uh, I might just put a bit more wood just there for all the good it does me, texture-wise. And uh, as I say, there's no way of making uh, a door, really. You just have to have a big kind of hole. Um, and that place for windows as well. I don't think there's any way of really uh, putting in any sort of glass there or anything as yet. I'm assuming eventually we're going to have a way of being able to do that. Now, because um, I've been so intent on gardening, on gardening, on ma making my house, I'm kind of slowly starving to death here. So I'm going to just pick up the fruit that my trees have dropped. And I'm planning on putting a load of... Um, Ow, stand right in the middle of my cherry tree. Put, planning on putting a load of torches around my garden as well once I've got it fenced in because uh, then I can see what I'm doing, which is a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to eat the literal fruits of my gardening labours here. And that's it. I've got 128 pieces of grass for some reason. I'm not sure I've got 
very much of a use for those. Uh, what do they look like if you place them actually? If I, oh, do I even have? I have a pickaxe and then, oh, that's not what I meant. If I dig a hole there and then place grass in it, it's just a weird kind of texture actually. Okay, not sure I particularly want that. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do today, I'm going to make some torches. Now I've got one wooden handle. I had a load of them, but basically they all ended up... Uh, put my wood back in there. Now I'm done building for a while. Uh, yeah, I had a load of them, but uh, I dropped them when the tiger killed me. Uh, so we're after, we don't need the vines, we'll put those back too, and we got some more dirt, great. <laughs> and some more seeds, I probably don't need those, but I'll stick them there anyway. So, where was my handle? Oh, it's in my hand, that's cool. Okay, so, I have to put it there and hit G, oh, except that it's not a light, stupid. So I need some wood to put on there. No, oh, hold on. Uh, why do I keep doing that? Okay. Uh, I need some wood to put on the fire. I've got that. I need this. Okay. I will get the hang of this eventually. So there we go. There goes my fire. Oh, I can't believe it. I just put a wood handle on the fire instead of dropping it. That's so stupid. Okay, well, I don't think I have any branches in here or anything I can actually make a torch with. I either need branches or I need... Yeah, I either need branches or I need... Uh, handles. And the branches make big torches, and the handles make small torches. And I left a load of wooden stuff over here because I couldn't pick it up earlier. So we're going to have a look, see if we can get any of that. What's that? It's a lump of sod by the look of it. So I know I'm in the right kind of area. Over here, was it? Yep, there's a handle, that's good. And wooden shaft and a wooden log. And I might have to take out another tree because, yeah. Okay. Ugh, oh, stop hacking the ground. I need the I need the wood. There we go, right. Now so I'm gonna make some torches. This time So we'll uh, try making some torches. I need to relight the fire and then I think we'll have some of these. I just need to be careful not to uh I'll put two down there actually. To add not add them. And uh, we'll make another one. And there we go. So that's two little torches. And I think while I'm at it, I'll make a big one as well. Because I did pick up some of these. So I'll just make a couple of those. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, don't punch them. Uh, and then I have a couple of torches. I've got... I think I want to put one here actually, one of the bigger ones. So let me have a big torch for here in my work area, and I want a big torch in my garden area as well. I'll have one of those in each corner of my garden, in point of fact, when I'm done. But for the time being, I'm going to stick some torches in my house. So I'll have one this side of the door. I'll have one 
this side of the door. And then I'll have one. No, that's not what I meant. I'll have one kind of in the middle of the wall there as well. And then I guess it only remains for me to put my bed in here. And uh, then my respawn point is set for inside my house with its delightful wonky floor. So let's do that thing. And then I've got some work to build my chest. So I'm going to pick up my bed and high foot it out there. That's going to be my mine now. That uh, place, that uh, that cave there, I'm just going to use that as a mine. So I'm going to put my bed. That's kind of a funky angle. Can I just put it straight? That's much better. There we go. Now this is looking vaguely homey. I'll be uh, okay if it rains. It's not going to keep the tigers out. That's why I thought possibly of building a house on stilts, but ultimately maybe what I'll do is try and put this in the upstairs, uh, my bed in the upstairs, but this will make quite a good workroom in the meantime. I'm going to leave my working table outside. There's other furniture I can make for in here. Maybe I'll leave that for next episode. In the meantime, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is me, totally useless gamer. <laughs> in my cruddy little house but it's slightly slight improvement on the cave and i am gradually learning how this game actually works and glitches aside it is really really rather fun so i'll maybe make a, a few more episodes and see if i can learn to play it a little bit more to my satisfaction because at the moment i just feel still like a total noob and like i really haven't learned ever so much about it at all so here i am with no clothes on again, because I lost them to a tiger. Um, <laughs> so I might have to go out adventuring and look for uh, look for those as well. Look for clothes and all the stuff I dropped, because I, yeah, I don't really want to sort of have gathered all that stuff in vain. But uh, yeah, looking a little bit more organized here and a little bit more like I've got a civilized way of life. So, uh, all in all, quite pleased. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Mistakes notwithstanding. And I will uh, see you for the next episode. If I do one. Which, uh, yeah, I probably will. And uh, thank you for watching this one, guys. So, till I see you next time. Happy gaming. Live well. Bye-bye. <laughs>